guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. On today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make some really simple faux stone or faux concrete vases. So I have some different glasses here that are just from the Dollar Tree. I believe I already had one or two of these and then just picked up the other ones. Um, so even though they have letters on them, the technique we're going to use will cover those up. So to begin, I'm going to take some spray paint and put an even coat all over the glass here. I don't wanna to go too heavy or you're going to end up getting drips. Um, if by chance that happens, it's not a huge deal though because we're going to put a layer of paint kind of splotched onto it after, so it will help disguise those drips. So I'm going to put a good coat on these, let them dry, put a second coat on so that they're really nice and coated, and I'm just working to try to get all sides here. I'm using my spray paint booth. So you can see, even though I put two coats on, you can still kind of see the letters on the one. So I'm just taking some paint and dabbing this on. This is just acrylic paint. This is um, a chalk finish paint to give it kind of more of that dried out paint look the way stone or concrete would look. And yes, I realize I'm off the screen a little bit, but I'm just using a sponge and dabbing them. Now that they're dry, we're ready to move on and the vases are essentially finished. I'm just going to put some dried stems in them and just kind of show you how I arrange those. So I have some eucalyptus stems and these are all actually from my favorite local florist, Pomp and Bloom, and I will include a link in the description below to them. Her work is incredible. So thank you, Gina. Um, these are just dried out so they're real stems. I can't put real flowers in these because in two days they will die. <laughs> Same with a plant. I can't I can't keep anything alive. Not that the flowers would be alive but you know what I'm saying. I'm the worst with plants. So this stem here, no idea what it is. Looks, reminds me of a fern. Someone help me out here. Again, I was not born with a green thumb, that's for sure. So you can see I just kind of put these in, arranged them a little bit, just kind of spreading out the leaves or the stems a little. So that one is done for now. We'll set that to the side. I'm gonna move on to this one that's a little shorter, a little rounder. I like these stems here. I'm gonna cut them down. Obviously they're way too long, way too big for the vase that I'm using. And I'm just using some fairly thick wire cutters. Because the stems are kind of brittle, you could use even just a pair of scissors. But I'm just gonna put these in. There's no real right or wrong. Some of you may disagree with me there, but I just want them to look kind of, you know, natural for the most part. Um, I'm not trying to make them symmetrical. And I'm also mixing up what I put in each vase. I completed five of these. I'm gonna show you just what I'm putting in a couple of them here. And it's just trial and error of what I like in there. I'm gonna put one of these smaller ones, maybe a bigger one to kind of fill up the space. Let's see how I like that. Well, yeah. I like these too. Who knows what these are called, because I'm not sure, but I like them. Add a little bit of the lighter kind of tan color in there. So I'm just gonna kind of finish these vases up. Obviously, you could change out what you put in these vases for different holidays. So if you wanted to put maybe some like silver and white for the winter, or you wanted to do some more distinct fall colors, you could absolutely do that as well. Um, right now I'm just going to add these additional picks in, kind of a feather type that are really, really pretty, very fragile. Again, I'm going to include links to all of these 
different supplies in the description below, as well as a link to Pomp and Bloom, the florist who supplied these. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. I hope you liked this video and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. We'll have a few more home and decor type videos coming up fairly soon. I'm trying to not just do solely jewelry videos, which is where they tend to go a lot of the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.